What's up, peoples? This is your boy, Passive Crypto, checking in with another banger. That's right, another banger. Your boy has made it back home. And look, man, this is what I'm telling you guys. Passive income is powerful. I've been away for five days. I come back home, and look what I got waiting on me. Passively. I haven't even been watching my investments, man. I come back home, I got $869 to collect. Collect. Then spend a time, not one minute doing anything for this. Not out my time, out today. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that real quick while we talk about ApeSwap. Um, the banana token is at $4.81 right now. Um, Congratulations to the people who actually making money in crypto and to you guys that hasn't or haven't made the plunge yet. I mean, this is still a bull market, although it's, it's, I, it's I don't know how far it's going to run, you know, but y'all missing out, man. But hey, watch me do me. Hopefully I can inspire some of you guys to um, start making these crypto gains, this crypto paper. So if you're new to this channel, this channel is about making money and passive income. If you like any one of those things, then subscribe to this channel. Give me a like on this video, then subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and then select all. All right, let's get it. So my LPs, <laughs> this is what I'm telling you guys. You know, that's that other level in yield farming I keep talking about. You see my LPs went up in value. Now they up to $30,552. I think the last time we spoke, it might have been at like 26,000, but they still going up. Let's go to the ape stats, baby. Take a look at that. So, banana price is at $4.82. I got 30,551 dollars in LPs because my LPs have went up. I'm earning 37.15 banana worth $181.69. My money that I'm earning every day went up while I was on vacation. That's, that's what cryptocurrency can do for you. Weekly, I'm earning 260 banana worth $1,271. Monthly, I'm earning 1,114 banana worth $5,450. Yearly, 13,559 banana worth $66,000. Now, this is with me having to do anything outside of just park my money on the platform and go in every day or every week or every month however I want to collect and collect my money and do with what I want. It's not my money not locked up. It's none of that. I go in, I get my money, and that's that. That's why I love ApeSwap. You know what I'm saying? My daily APY is 0.59%, which is decent. It's not the greatest, but it's decent. Weekly, I'm earning 4% on my initial investment. Monthly, is 17% run that up to 18% yearly 217% on my initial investment you can't get that anywhere else in the real world that I know of if anybody know of any place where I can park my money and earn 18% a month in interest on my money please let me know because your boy looking for that real bad passive need that so these are my stats man and it's, it's lovely you know APR is still hanging above 200%. And, you know, my LPs, I, I keep telling you guys, man, my LPs is, I pick good LPs. That's the key to yield farming. Pick LPs, um, cryptocurrencies that you think that people might want to use. Don't pick these cryptocurrencies just because it has an APR. That's not the determining factor. That's one thing to think about. The other thing is the cryptocurrency platform. What is it being used for? If it's being used, is it helping people? Like, is it doing something for the people? Now, it's cool to have these cryptocurrencies that have technology and they building something for the future and all this stuff. But when it comes down to investing, invest in a cryptocurrency that's going to do something for you in the meantime not just holding it that's not gonna help i mean if it's a bull market and it shoot up 
that's one way to make money. But I would rather hold something and earn passive income on it, waiting for it to go up, instead of just holding it and not earning anything on it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's an opportunity cost that you're missing out on when you do it that way. It's not wrong to do it that way, but in my opinion, you make less money. So these are the cryptocurrencies I've been talking about. You know, I've been talking about Banana since it was like two dollars. You know, after this is um, after I got back in. You know, and it's up to four dollars and eighty cent on its way to five dollars if the crypto market continue. Phantom is another cryptocurrency I was talking about. When it was around 20 cents, 16, 20 cents, it's up to 82 cents right now. And that's one, another one you could have got in, you know. Buy shares, another one, a new cryptocurrency that just came out, what, a month ago, a month and a half ago. I was talking about this when it was $2. Now it's at $8.39. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let's go to it. Let me see. What was the price? So this is buy shares. This is the video I did August the 9th. It's titled Yield Farming Strategy on ApeSwap slash Yield Farming Bananas. So I was talking about the buy shares token. There's only a million tokens. That's it. Just one million. I was t- telling you guys what it does. It's a decentralized exchange traded fund. They have cryptocurrency funds for different segments of the market. Let's see. Let me go on to the... I know it's in here somewhere. All right. So this time, this this is uh, my first chart I showed. It was like $3.58. You know what I'm saying? So $3.58 is up to... Where is that now? $8.39. I mean, what can I say? The high today was $8.42, and I think it's going to keep going up long as they're able to protect their assets from scammers. Because this is something that's much needed in a DeFi space, an ETF, that people can invest in using one token to invest in multiple cryptocurrencies. That's, I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? Buy shares can still run. It's still not too late to get in. You know what I'm saying? You might want to wait on the pullback. If I was buying it, I would wait on the pullback. Actually, all these tokens. You know, Phantom is up a lot. It's at 82 cent. Um, 46% in one day. I would see if it pulled back some if I were to invest at this price. Same thing with ApeSwap. Like, all this stuff is up, man. And it's like, some of you guys is missing out. Some of y'all got in when I made the video. Some of y'all didn't, y'all. Y'all, um... Think y'all a little gun shy, but y'all missing out on a great opportunity to make a lot of money and secure you guys' uh, well-being f- uh, financially. You know, so now back to Ape Swap. So Ape Swap, I just got my eight hundred dollars that I, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying while I was on vacation, earned eight hundred dollars. So you know what I do. So right now I got four thousand dollars and seventy four four thousand seventy four dollars. In an uh, auto farm. Auto farm is a place where you can auto compound your rewards or your money. My APY is 173%, which it has dropped. So I don't know what I'm going to do about this because it is getting on the, on the low side. I, I'm going to leave it in here. Um, I didn't want to pair a banana with another token because I think it's really undervalued as far as the price. And I didn't want to get smashed with impermanent laws by pairing it with another token. Because unfortunately on auto, it's not paired to any other token that I think that can gain um, as much percentage as the banana token. So any one of these, I would get hit with an impermanent loss. But I think I might be able to mitigate it with the banana BUSD. Um, because the BNB... It's not bad, but I, I think I ended up, by the time I break my LPs, I think I will end up with more BNB than banana. And I don't know if I necessarily want that because I think banana has a higher ceiling as far as price appreciation from where it's at. I don't know if uh, BNB going to get to $3,000, but I 
think if the bull run continue, banana should get to where is it at now? Say at four dollars. The bull market continue, I do think that banana can get to like twenty dollars. You know, so that's almost like what's so like 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 a four x, five x from here, four x. I think it can do that if the bull market continue. You know, whereas BNB, I'm not sure it can do that. I think it could go up, but I don't think it can go up that much. So that's the key. What this is what I look for when I'm yield farming. I look when I'm pairing two tokens. I'm looking for two tokens that pretty much go up and down at the same speed. Then that way, I mitigate, lessen the effect of a permanent loss, and I always yield farm two tokens that I like a lot. That way, if I have more than the other, it doesn't bother me because I like both tokens. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I think a lot of people that get hit with a permanent loss and they are unsatisfied is because they got one token that they really don't want. And they just pair it with the token they have for a higher APR. And then when the token that they have that they like goes up a lot and the token they don't like stays where it's at or goes down, they end up with the token that they don't like a lot. You know, so they have an issue with a permanent loss. Whereas I normally don't because of what I just stated. So, but yeah, I'm thinking about moving it because um, these APRs, especially this one, is, this one is um, almost double what this is, so I'll be earning more banana. And that's what I want. I want to earn more banana because I think it's undervalued. So I got to decide. But right now I got 843 banana, and it's worth uh, $4,000. And what I'm going to do is what I always do. I'm going to add to that. Got 177 to add. So I'm going to deposit that so I can get back to compound. That's one thing I missed out on was compounding my rewards daily, which would have earned me more money in the vault. Because what I'm doing is the goal is to, to increase my share of the banana pool and increase my dollar amount so I can earn more. So now I got $4,932. My share of the pool has went up to 0.043%. And let's go to the projections. Because this is what I want to see. Let's see what your boy projections is. So there you go. My total deposit is $4,932. I'm earning 173%. My daily APY is 0.29% and let's go to my projections to see so with that deposit I'm on my way to earning $14,000 off this $4,932 if I leave this in here for 364 days like I say again man crypto is great um, crypto changing the financial market it's, it's forcing these banks and the financial institutions in the real world to take notice of how cryptocurrency is um, creating financial markets that benefit everyone and not just a few, which is the issue that we have with the current monetary policy. It only benefits few, and those few control the many. Where in crypto, everybody has a shot to make it, and there's less barriers to do that and these platforms can help you grow your money significantly faster because they charge, well, they're not charge, they uh, give you the option to earn a high APY on your money. And this is a great tool, you know what I'm saying? Like, why don't banks have this tool for people who invest? Why don't financial planners have a tool like this for people to invest? Their, their money. Like, how come cryptocurrency can do this, but banks on all these professional money makers can't do this? I'm pretty sure they do that for themselves and their institutions, but how about they can't do this for the people? So that's why I love cryptocurrency, man. Um, cryptocurrency ain't all good, but it ain't all bad. Like, stuff like this is really good. 
you know, for people who are looking to grow their money. So, like I was saying with buy shares, man, let me move on to buy shares. So, buy shares is up to $8.39. Um, they have a new fund coming out, too. It's coming out either today or tomorrow. Let's get to that real quick. Um, now, this one is a cross-chain fund. And with one token, you guys will be able to invest in, like, six different hot pot projects. So, let's check it out. So, they just made this uh, article about 20 hours ago and this article is really really interesting and I think this has something to do to why the price is going up a little bit and I think it's going to explode if this fund um, is successful which all depends on the market by the way these funds depend on how the market go if the market goes up these funds the, the token price of the fund will go up as well so the new fund, here it is, the new news. This is for the people that stuck around for this video. This is a long video too, you know, so I'm giving y'all some, dropping some gems. So this week is lining up for another big week. The buy shares chain fund, they call it the buy chain. This fund is the most flexible fund in crypto. And they really like this fund because they say they are proud to announce it's diversified components. This fund is operational to mint with banana as well. That's a, a function of the platform. Um, um, usually you would deposit BNB, but they're saying you can deposit banana token as well to get into this fund. So here are the underlying lining tokens. Let me blow that up so y'all can see that. Ethereum, Cardano, Polygon Matic, Phantom, Avalanche, Bitcoin, USDC, and of course, buy shares. Ethereum going to be 15% of the fund. Cardano going to be 15%. Polygon Matic going to be 15%. Phantom going to be 15%. Avalanche and Bitcoin going to be 15%. USDC, 9%. And buy shares, 1%. So they say they was hoping to launch this uh, tomorrow, but I'm not, I don't think it is because I just went to the platform. I didn't see it up. So they say there's no precise time yet. Just give or take two hours. So probably sometime today or early tomorrow, this fund gonna be live. So buy share still pumping these funds out, and they got some new news coming out saying that they're gonna launch their own decks real soon, which is bullish for buy shares. Um, although I'm kind of torn on um, this part of it. Yes, it's gonna bring liquidity. Um, however, I think depending on how they do this, it might lower the fund, the tokens, the, the fund, uh, cause each fund has its own token and it could be counterproductive to the fund if the token prices drop because of buying and selling on a exchange. So we shall see how that play out, but it will be, uh, interesting. And I'm definitely going to take note of this and, and see how it go with that. Um, like I said, I don't know about this part of the buy shares platform because it might have some in, in uh, unintended consequences. So, but, hey, they rolling it out. They're going to see what it do. And I do like this fund, though. All these cryptocurrencies right here are hot right now. They're blowing up, all of them. So we shall see how that work out, man. And um, by the way, so Spooky Swap, I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. So Spooky Swap is up to $17.85. That's another token that I was talking about around three, four dollars. You know what I'm saying? Two, three, four dollars. So this, so it was Banana, Phantom, um, Buy Shares, Spooky Swap. You know, people asking me um, which cryptocurrencies to get in and um, give give us some that's early. I mean. All these cryptocurrencies were cheaper when I talked about them. Some of them were significantly cheaper. So I don't know what to tell you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm giving y'all gems. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully some people is picking up on these and they making money. And it's not just me making money. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I'm making these videos. You know what I'm saying? To help people make money. 
And, of course, I'm just showing you what I'm doing as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a financial advisor, but I just want to show people my viewpoint of the market and how I make money in the market, you know, um, and to show people that there's more than one way to skin a cat, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to just follow one way to make money because if you watch other people's YouTube videos, shout out to them, they make money too, but they are, most of them are in different platforms that I'm in. They don't, they not in the same platforms I'm, I'm in. I just want to show you guys that you don't have to um, emulate your favorite YouTuber just to make money because that might be the, their niche, they niche, and they able to navigate those waters to make their money. But I'm showing you guys that I have my niche and I make good money as well and it's, you know, you don't have to pick just one way. There's multiple ways to make money in cryptocurrency. So, one last thing. Now, this is, uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let me change my wallet. It's Baby Boo. Now, Baby Boo is a reflection token. And if you, every time there's a transaction on uh, uh, the Spooky Swap token, which is uh, the Boo token, you earn Boo. So, I know I just confused the hell out of everybody. But basically, you hold Baby Boo and you earn Spooky Swap uh, Exchange Token. And you can see Spooky Swap Exchange Token is up to almost $18. So, so right now, I have Baby Boo. When I invested in Baby Boo, it was only like, I only invested like $1,700. I have 644 million tokens. To be exact, to be precise, I have 644,776,656 tokens. And my $1,700 investment is over $12,000 now. And every day I earn the Spooky Swap exchange token, which is Boo. Because every time there's a transaction, either buying or selling or whatever, what have you, I earned Boo, and I got my Boo on gram.finance, where, where they auto-compound my Boo rewards. So every time there's a transaction, I earn Boo. Graham take that Boo and buy Baby Boo. Then every time it repeats this process, every time there's another transaction, I earn more Boo. Graham take that Boo. And buy more baby boo. The more baby boo I hold, the more boo I earn. So I hope I didn't confuse you. Um, but it's pretty simple. It's not hard. It's really passive income. Not doing anything for it. Uh, the price is going down a little bit. I'm not worried because I'm earning passive income and I got in at a cheap price. So with that being said, I really do appreciate you guys for watching this entire video. And this is your boy, Pastor Crypto. Peace. I'm out.